Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Spigen Tough Armor case here for the Samsung Galaxy S24. Obviously they make it for the Plus and Ultra. So if you're interested in buying this case after watching this video, do follow my affiliate links down in the description. So this one's gonna set you back around like 16, 17 bucks roughly on Amazon. Uh, there is an instant 5% off coupon as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a peek real quick at the actual packaging here. Uh, so as you can see there, we do have a picture of the phone case. It does say for Samsung Galaxy, which obviously their partnership with them, they made it perfectly fit. S24, tough armor. And then it does say Abyss Green, which is the color that this uh, one is. So uh, this Abyss green color has been pretty dang popular with Spigen. And so uh, that's what they sent me. Usually a bigger fan of the black or the gray case, but um, I am curious to see how this Abyss green turns out or turned out. All right, so there is the case. Now it does have this like, uh, well, we'll talk about the back once I have it installed, but let's look at the inside first. So inside, nice cushiony yellow padding, just like they have over the last few years. Looks really nice. Has this little extra padding part here where it's not really padded, it's more of the material of the, uh, like the TPU it looks like. And then we do have the logo, you know, kind of like the uh, Greek Latin looking thing there. And then, like I said, tough armor, which is right there. So nice, easy branding inside. Has the air cushion technology with the bumpers in the corners. Has the yellow padding throughout, at least on the sides, not the bottom, but at least the top and the sides. And then that's the back again. So let's grab the phone and slap it on. So install pretty dang easy. No issues at all there. And there it is installed. So looks pretty good. Uh, so with this Abyss Green, it is kind of more of a, I mean, it's hard to tell, um, maybe in the video, I'm not sure, but it's a very kind of forest green, dark green color, but it has kind of a little sheen to it with the material of the actual case. So you can kind of see that there. It's hopefully maybe picking that up a little bit. Um, and then the top and the bottom is matted black. The kickstand is also the same color with some Spigen branding there. Uh, pretty dang simple. Ooh, so this is something different. So over the years, one of the biggest complaints that I've had with the kickstand on the Tough Armor cases is it's very flimsy. Now this one's still flimsy, but if you see there, there is some resistance. So this is a first for me. Now I've tested a lot of these Tough Armor cases this is the first one where I actually feel resistance pushing up against it. Uh, so it doesn't feel like it's a complete, just shaky, wobbly mess. Now inside, it does say something you want. And it also says Spigen once again inside there. But there that is. Uh, cutouts, for this, uh, cutouts for the camera, nicely recessed in. Individual cutouts for the flashes and everything. So it looks pretty dang good there. Now we have it zoomed in here. Let's go ahead and talk about the sides. So volume up and down have a plus and minus and very squared off and flat. The power button has some little teeth in it, which is always a fan of, and it is flat as well. So as you can see there, a little bit of a kind of a caved in there, if you can see, but when you're looking for it, you can definitely feel that it is the power button. And then on the side here, it does say tough armor is well so that green's bleeding over the buttons are black the top here also is black obviously got the whole cutouts there for the microphones and then of course the reinforced corners and the bumpers there and then on this side all green nothing too crazy matted black bottom obviously we got some nice cutouts for the USB-C charging port mic and the speakers and then looking at it from this angle you can see the lip action going with the screen. And then here is the top down view. So it isn't super, super slim, but it's not like super, super thick either. Like, uh, you know, like an otter box or something like that. So it's still gonna hold. I mean, obviously with the S24, it's a thin, you know, smaller device, but it doesn't really feel like it adds a terrible amount of bulk or weight uh, to the device. Now let's go ahead and do the wobble test real quick. So face down, nothing going on, and back down, a little shaking, 
but nothing too crazy. So once again, with most of these cases that I've been reviewing, they're not like wobbly, crazy, shaky messes like you know the iPhone 14 Pros or the iPhone 15 Pros. It's just a subtle wobble, so not too bad. Now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So let's do the power button first. Okay, very responsive. Volume up and down. Oh yeah. So very clicky guys. So if you like clicky buttons, this one passes with flying colors. So now let's go ahead and test out the wireless charging capabilities. Now with this being a two part case and you can take it apart, let's see if it finds it. And uh, obviously it does. So didn't think there was gonna be any issue there, but it can definitely wirelessly charge with ease. Uh, there's no built-in magnets, so it's not like you're going to be able to play around and use your actual MagSafe chargers, unfortunately, uh, but is what it is. So like wireless pay or any NFC stuff or, um, you know, reverse power sharing, you're going to be totally good with. And then next, let's go ahead and last but not least, test out that kickstand. So if we do portrait mode, it obviously just doesn't hold up. Um, it just never has. Now it would if you kind of, well, I actually won't do that either. It just never has. So that's a bummer, but it's really meant for more of landscape. So that way you have it like this, or you can even do it like that where it's a little bit more angled back. Um, but yeah, you're just not going to be able to do it like this way, which I don't think is a terrible thing, but once again, some people care. Uh, if they like do, you know, YouTube shorts or TikTok videos and they want it facing upward so they can use the selfie camera to see themselves. Uh, but with this, just not going to happen. So my overall impressions, guys, is I've always liked Tough Armor cases. Uh, they're rugged. If you're someone that wants a rugged phone case, then I always recommend the Tough Armor because you're getting really good drop protection. You're getting a multi-layer case that does feel good and looks good, comes with a kickstand. The material is matted, but it does have a kind of a cushiony feel to it, uh, very similar to like the Thin Fit uh, and the uh, Slim Armor as well. So it feels padded, but it's not. Uh, it's just that material, so it feels good. No fingerprint issues. Uh, could have some smudging issues, but with this green color, I don't think it's really going to be that noticeable. Uh, but nothing that a quick wipe down with the shirt or something like that is, uh, you know, going to fix it pretty dang easily, I feel like. But uh, there we have it. Tough armor. Check it out. Uh, so hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.